Hello, everyone. Um, well, uh, I will be asking some questions for the audience, so don't be shy to raise your hands. But first of all, uh, the important question, uh, how many of you uh, use PHP Storm? <laughs> okay, when, if somebody didn't raise their hand, talk to the nearest person who did. <laughs> yeah. if, if you want to be convinced by the end of all this stuff. Uh, I will be showing both like hardcore stuff closer to the end of talk, but I will start with some important things like everybody should know. And um, many even long-time users do not know all the functionality. Well, first of all, we have most of stuff available uh, in PHP Storm available for self-paced learning in PHP Storm Workshop. You basically go to Google, Google the PHP Storm Workshop, it will show you GitHub link, you check it out, and you follow through. I will do it right now also, so you can continue or do some parts. Also, disc so small disclaimer, I will be using both early access build and the actual, like, not released build um, running on my laptop from sources, so anything can go wrong, but still. And, uh, okay, let's start. I will just open workshop materials to, to for a start. Uh, Okay, so basically this is like project window, editor, some tool, toolboxes. Uh, probably most of you know the, uh, that in, in PHP Storm we don't, don't remember usually where their stuff is. So uh, in um, recent version we much upgraded this functionality. Uh, basically it called search everywhere. You double press shift key and you type anything. Uh, and we will we'll show you related symbols, files, uh, actions, whatever. You can try to limit these and include it uh, like system classes and stuff like that. This is very important uh, uh, action. I do not know where the stuff is in the, in the, in the menus down here or in the project or whatever. So I'll always, you will be using this. Second thing may, is, um, if you will be going through this workshop or, or learning PHP for some time, uh, there is a helpful um, thing which will show you which features do you actually use. If you go to the help menu and uh, check the productivity guide here, this is a fresh installation. I've used, been using it for two days, I guess. Uh, so I can sort the features for being, being used. I've been showing some stuff, so I did some selection, completion, searching, renaming, and if I scroll down, there will be features. We try it once and never. And below will be a description how to try them. Some maybe advanced stuff. Uh, so I strongly suggest everyone uh, open their copy of PHP Storm and uh, check their own stats and try the stuff that you didn't use before. Um, and the last thing, if something doesn't work for you or for anyone in your company or you do not know how it should work and you unable to Google it, don't be shy, go and request support. Basically, it will uh, open the uh, form here and uh, we have uh, like uh, guys on duty uh, working directly on my team with our issue tracker and developers who will both help us to identify the problems and help you to find the workarounds. So you, you won't be struggling for months uh, or, or just uh, hating PHP Storm, we will be, it help everyone to fix issues and uh, we will uh, have your, your work done faster. Uh, also, there is a, uh, if you are using PHP Storm for some time, there is a key map built into the uh, IDE. It will open the PDF file you can print. And also online I found some handy tools. It can show you uh, how it will work if you press something. It's directly in the browser. It, it, I think it has stuff for many products. So it is some, somebody did it. <laughs> really nice. Okay, this is, I'm done with introduction. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I will show a couple of things which, which are in, in PHP Storm for a really long time, but not many people uh, are aware that they are there. So, Again, uh, how many uh, of you work with databases from within of PHP Storm? 
Nice. When you show, when you show something, with it. how many of you do use databases in other tools or uh, some run some SQL? Okay. Well, some of you. Uh, then I will be, like, li li will be short. Basically, uh, PHP Storm includes everything we have uh, in our other product called DataGrip. It's a full, full feature database client. It basically supports everything in the cloud and locally and whatever. So I will just quickly show it how, to, how it might work. Um, I will open a database con console with uh, this source DDL script and execute it to create a schema. Just run one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and you see it has been refreshed, so tables were created in MySQL, something like that. So this is database explorer. Looks nothing special. But this is PHP Storm, uh, because we treat all the languages and all the presentation of languages uh, the same way. So be it text or uh, some data structure, we work with it and uh, keep it consistency and keep consistency across the languages. For example, I will refresh it for a second and uh, open a PHP file, basically. So you see, if, I, if you try start typing in some literal here, I will do it like before, it will recognize that this is SQL and will also offer you completion from this database you have. And uh, we understand all these databases uh, I show you here properly with all the dialects and the permissions and all the advanced stuff right there. Uh, for example, I can show you some completion so we can comp help you complete constraints. We, we have smart completion. You, it basically sees the foreign, foreign keys and k k k helps you to, to do it. And uh, we also support refactoring this. For example, I can go and rename this table. And it will generate both DDL and uh, it will uh, change all the references across your source code and everywhere, for example. So this shows me uh, references to table. Basically here, like 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 you expect with with PHP or JavaScript, whatever. So full fledged scale client, and uh, m m even more, it has like you can do it visually. Mm. If you change something here, you can rename it from here, basically, or or refactor or or do something. It will work, and it will both generate your you DDL for you. Uh, so you can, if you uh, change something, you can com compare stuff. Also, you can basically view the data and export it anyway. This is one, one uh, more hidden side of PHP Storm. And this is available for everybody uh, with, the, with the product. So this is it with database. Uh, it also has fully fledged uh, front-end development support. But I won't be showing you that because I'm not a front-end developer for many years. Uh, I will show you only one thing. Basically, it has all you think, all you have in a, a web storm. For example, I don't know, we have a live editing in real time, some, all the JavaScript framework support, uh, lots of stuff. You can go to uh, web storm blog and take a look what's, what's new there. But uh, my team introduced one uh, more thing because in uh, PHP, we're also building like services and we have uh, APIs, REST APIs, stuff like that. So we created uh, for some, some time ago a new REST client who tried working with REST uh, requests within PHP Storm already. Okay, nice. <laughs> uh, I will basically, uh, again, you don't need to do anything. We just create a file with HTTP extension. I will, it basically looks like some, some language. I just use the create new file on, on this folder. Basically new, like. So it starts simple. It has you some, some help. And basically, this is like store standard like raw text. But it has, it has completion. In some places, it have like what you, what you may, might expect with, uh, from the JetBrains editor. But let's try to, you see the second, you try to execute it. You can see the body, and you can save it. And you can see this thing here. Basically, it saves the body for you in Scratch, so you can work with it later. If, you, if it's a REST file, it will be highlighted, formatted for you. And basically, if you do it a couple of times, if, for example, this is a request not to Google, but to your PHP service, 
uh, you can change the parameters, you can script them, uh, you can store the keys and uh, make assertions on it. Uh, I will show some simple stuff. You see these two requests in history. So basically, I can, for example, compare them and see what has, what has changed really easily. And I can make assertions on this writing small script. It, you can uh, look for PHP Storm, REST, Client Tutorial, and we'll see what, what is possible. Okay. This is uh, all for non PHP, less PHP related parts, I guess. So if you have any questions about these parts, this is the moment to ask them. Okay. Mm. Stuff. Okay, let's close the workshop. And again, this workshop has all the concepts cover, covered. So if you want to work with, with some kind, kind of testing, including JavaScript testing, uh, version controls, and uh, all that, you can take a look here. You can o open any file, and this will be all the documentation here. Uh, yeah, close it. And <laughs> ah, one more thing. Uh, you all know the PHP Storm has a lot, a lot of plugins, and we, uh, in recent editions, we have improved the workshop. Oh, sorry, the plugin, plugin um, marketplace. Uh, it has, um, for example, we open the uh, file which is not supported. It will uh, suggest you to install the plugin. For example, bash support here. And um, after the, I restart the IDE, it's immediately available. And the uh, support for this language works in the same way as it uh, does for PHP, JavaScript, or SQL, like I show you. We check all the files. We keep the referential integrity within the file and uh, across the files. You can refactor stuff uh, and uh, all that. Now, this is a segue to like um, advanced part. Uh, basically, how IDE does this. ID is not a text editor. It, uh, it can you can work like this text. You can select like stuff, type something in. But actually, inside of the hood, it works somewhat in between of uh, how PHP runtime itself works and uh, um, maybe compiler works, stuff like that. But it's really different because most of the time in uh, your editor, your code is broken. You start to type something, you didn't finish it. So ID needs to be permissive and uh, let you to uh, write the wrong stuff and help you to correct it. Uh, so ID sees the code like this, for example. It's, it's a tree. And basically, take a forest of trees with the ropes between branches. If you re reference symbol in one file, we keep the, uh, all the system of these cross-references intact for you. This is uh, true for, for uh, all, all the languages. This approach, how, how stuff works. For example, for PHP, this is all the same. You can see. This is technical. You don't need to know this, actually, but it's important for, for the next part. Uh, same for SQL, also. Uh, for example, this complex stuff. Like we know, this is structure. It's a settings clause for SQL. And if you may notice, the, the, these blocks, uh, this is how we, we have this smart selection. Basically, we select it by trees. And we, this is how we have like introduce expression. Basically, uh, we know how, how to select, because we never work, work with just with text. And internally, uh, all the code inspection, analysis, and refactoring works uh, based on, um, on this. Uh, so we have a forest of trees, and within there's some scope of function. We have um, uh, yeah, for, for example, here uh, we have a tracking for for values. Uh, for example, you if you assign something to file variable, uh, we will know what, what this function have returned and track the assignments uh, here. And uh, we have two types of analysis. Analysis which runs locally in, when you open editor, and the analysis which runs in background, uh, basically eating your battery. 
but all these uh, smart completion features really depend on it. Uh, and we uh, recently introduced th two features which are visible to public and two features which are not has been released. I will show you in a moment. Um, for example, here you have like a simple snippet with a uh, very strange warning, like unhandled exception here. Basically, uh, here inside this very simple code, it can be really deep in, in your framework. Uh, I have like throw new exception. So uh, ID will tell you that this code will, will never, never, finished, uh, never finish running. Uh, and uh, this analysis uh, works by uh, actually simulating the execution of, of PHP. So PHP store never runs any PHP code in any way, but inside of itself it has like totally different runtime which works with broken PHP code, basically uh, with incomplete statements. If you have something like this or, 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 or basically like, like this even, uh, PHP uh, interpreter uh, will, will, will won't be able to help with you. But here in, P in PHP Storm, you have still the refresh and integrity for this uh, uh, is intact. And also, we, you see, we, we, we differentiate between read accesses, write accesses, and all stuff. This is uh, the uh, result of, of uh, type tracking engine working in background. This is my area of expertise, what I was doing for PHP after creating like Lexer, Parser, and Editor with Highlighter. I was working on this engine, uh, which is, uh, so we have some new and exciting stuff. First of all, in new versions, this engine was rewritten. It was the fastest engine. Basically, you all choose PHP Storm instead of Eclipse and Ornate Beans or something because it was smarter and faster. This is because of this, this engine. And uh, soon comes a new version of this engine, with, which have uh, which will be both faster and will uh, allow us to provide you completely new features. Like uh, I showed you this exception. For example, if I will comment this line, this will, uh, there is no exception thrown it's in the real time. And, but there is a new error. This is the thing that nobody saw yet, ever, and it was not demoed to public. Uh, basically, it a new, has new um, in kind of situation. You see the vulnerable function here. What's that? Basically, uh, uh, right now, uh, most of internet runs on PHP, like 85% of, of all the websites out there. And all the time we hear about security problems, breaches, stuff like that. And security is hard. I mean, thinking uh, in advance how your code not might, but will be exploited by some people, maybe outside, maybe inside the company. It's hard. It's hard to write the product that works and then to make it fast and then to make it secure. It's, nobody usually reaches the last point. <laughs> you, may, you may put it some sandbox like firewall and stuff like that to uh, think uh, you might be protected, but usually this doesn't help. Uh, so we, we like we're helping you to write the correct code in the IDE, so you don't have runtime errors. Basically, if you try to call something like this, yeah, it's undefined function. It will it will f fail in, in browser, dump a stack, stack trace. People will know what's inside the code. You don't want it. But when, when you could have your code working, this code will run. It will dump something. But uh, the so source of this file is unknown. Maybe users have uploaded this file to your system, and you are right now like reading it and outputting to screen, and output will be rendered in a web browser. And basically, for a web browser, your output is an executable code. So right now, you have a code path uh, uh, which is unsecured. Basically, something may be tainted. This is like terminology, and uh, you need to like keep it all in mind. It's it's really hard. So with the help of new type tracking engine, we can, not, we can track not only the um, types of variables, for instance, this is maybe string, maybe int, maybe some class, but basically they're like uh, flavors or taints. If somebody, uh, your data wasn't secured uh, or, or, or it comes from dubious source, like basically everything which wasn't explicitly sanitized should be treated as potentially uh, like um, tainted data. XSS injection, JavaScript injection, database injection, whatever. 
all these type of, of errors uh, have the same source. So, if I take if you if you take a look at this um, uh, warning here, for example, if you press like quick quick, quick help, it shows you like uh, uh, input uh, variable for, to this. Um, file variable is tainted. If you, you can go to definition, you can go to definition here, you can try to, uh, to analyze it and see the taint. You, this, this, sec this section is new. And this is like work in progress, so uh, there is not a file functionality available I can show you. Uh, basically, in, in, in the end, you, can, you will be able to get reports like this. Um, there is a feature also not, not uh, much known. If you Stay in here, like I did, uh, go to declaration, find usages, then go to declaration. Basically, I am trying to analyze the data flow to this point. And we, we have a special function, which is basically can help you to do this. You can go to, um, actually, I will find action. So, data flow to here. For small project, was at the in for big project, it will be working in real time. So, basically, uh, there are two code paths to this place. It can use this one. This might work, might not work. So, and the, the, in the end, we have same same point. Uh, so, uh, you can, in the new interface, you will be able to see the taint flavors markers d d directly. And um, <coughs> and uh, we are not limited only to this type of markers. Nullability, like dreaded Java now upon the reception, you have you will have the same in PHP now. <laughs> you have strong types <laughs> uh, and uh, all the type of errors. Basically, you can uh, attach uh, advanced type information to to any type of data. Data. We just marked these uh, functions, uh, some functions or some variables like global variable uh, get or post what you got from user uh, from user in your request or what you read from database like. Uh, MySQL query output of MySQL query is insecure because you're not sure you, you have somebody did not edit the, the database while application outside of the application you have to sanitize it b before output into user screen and uh, input parameters to, to MySQL query are also should be sanitized for example so MySQL query is both sync and source of tainted data data yeah. next yeah, and, the, and this is uh, also uh, tracks it in real time. For example, how synthesization works. If I dump, var dump this variable here, it's vulnerable. Here, it's not. This is because this function is a sanitizer. It cleans uh, output. Nothing can uh, taint it can pass through and define function, for example. You can define your own custom functions. You, we, we, we can recognize, like, escape something, which will remove, like, particular times. For example, SQL escaping or, or maybe other type of escape, escaping uh, will clean the particular taints here. Uh, this is something we did for just for experiments. Okay. Uh, So a uh, quick look how it works inside. So inside of PHP Cell, like I told you, uh, we never execute your code, but we, s we uh, basically uh, built a control flow, like assembly of your code, maybe similar to PHP uh, does inside of it, or how maybe xdebug extensions see the, all the code pass in your code while, while your code is running. Uh, it look, looks a little bit cryptic, but basically uh, this simple set of statements. Uh, here's a branch here. You can go or not go into this code, and the type of, uh, of a page variable, basically, uh, here are bunches. It's what, uh, if you will be debugging this, you will step through debugger and see uh, a page is, is visible and has some value, or isn't visible, has no value. And the IDE, while it's running, it sees it like this. Basically, uh, if you go inside this branch, not is set. The type of the value is like empty, definitely. You cannot e execute anything on it. Or if, it go, if you go post this expression, uh, the type of uh, this variable is set. And um, basically due to some, we also track the implicit type conversions, so, and merge them for you. Uh, this is work in progress. So this is uh, how we 
check uh, stuff in, uh, in PHP Storm. I have like a, uh, actually thousands and tens of thousands of tests. Uh, this, is, this is my actual like, test data. Uh, I was just working before, so we can see. For a new engine, we have still still have some errors, uh, which will be fixed. Obviously, like we mi we miss some stuff, uh, but it's much faster and uh, all, all tracks more, much more information. But uh, we already have plenty of inspections, and we add more inspections, and all this stuff is really hardcore. If error helps you or not, we may we may. Mm, you may be impressed or not impressed uh, by this particular functionality, but maybe you have some needs uh, in your project. For example, you have the best practice or like, mm, like FAQ for you new, new by you, um, employees. Uh, like, please do not write code like this. You, you do, do it like that. Uh, and you have no inspection or for, for this particular your custom framework or rule, and you won't be, won't, wasn't able to configure it in like some some linter like PHP code sniffer or maybe PHP stern or whatever. So and uh, trying to make this inspection for PHP a storm, I mean there's a plenty of plugins and some of them, them really advanced and do a lot of stuff, but it's hard. It's Java development stuff like that. You have no time, but still it's uh, like uh, we also face the same problem. Uh, we um, for a year, when a person comes to ChatBrains, uh, they start like getting up to speed and um, have a code review. And in each code review, for, for many people, I and my colleagues have to repeat, please don't do it like this. This is, this is, this is a problem which wasn't solved before, and we like, have found a solution for ourselves. I will try to show it for you. Basically, it's the ability to define these things you say to people, and ID will check them for you and show them directly in the editor. So before sending a review to you, person will see in the editor your custom rules, basically, directly. Uh, and these rules are really powerful because they can completely utilize all this technology inside of PHP Store. For example, if you have like code sniffer, you have only you can only check like some very local stuff. Uh, in PHP 10, you have like a something similar to what PHP Storm has inside, referential integrity, type assertions, more advanced stuff. But still there is no way to like, um, make uh, advanced assertions. I will show you an experimental. Basically, this feature was, was in PHP Storm or all our products for many years, but it wasn't like, underutilized. We have it configured for our own project, and it looks scary. But we, we, we made it work like, nicely, so I will show you how it works. It's like, it was structural search into place. Yeah, there's some presets for our platform. For example, for database tools have their own best practice. Database mobile property must be public. And this is like a template, and it's, in a very, it's very special. You see, it's, it looks like it's Java code, basically. Uh, and uh, there are some, uh, some assertions on, 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 on this. It's a c too simple, Ooh, maybe like this. Yep. Like performance thing, do not do if start with something substring. Do it like this. So this will show in my editor, and my colleagues introduce uh, these rules on the fly as they redesign our APIs. So then I open file that was green, like last time I checked it, and, and um, changing something. I did my work, but I see I make a commit, tests are green, uh, but my file is still like yellow here. I have some warnings. This will be one of these. Uh, and this is the uh, what do not to do, uh, this, and this is a quick fix. I can, I, can, I can fix it immediately. So my workflow is like that. After uh, I touch something, I go and see for these special inspections to maintain my code base to up to new standards, because your vision of how your code should work is constantly evolving. And it's really hard to spread this knowledge. Your project may be huge. We have like 65 thousand classes, for example, in IntelliJ platform. And uh, basically like um, 800 modules uh, with custom API. Uh, so when my colleague in database ID makes some new call API or new convention or like fixes something, for terms of, or even not fixes, but found something is not performant, like here maybe. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, he can go and sp like refactor maybe 
800 files by himself, he won't do it because he will break something and stuff like that. But so we define for you a workflow how to make your project uh, evolve with you, with your company, with your uh, standards, with your vision. And I will show you how it works. We will be working now for PHP without all this uh, stuff. Basically, you can go to uh, basically structure short replace in, in here. Replace structure. This is the same. You can select PHP here, but PHP has now more advanced support than Java or JavaScript. We 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 are like in the front, but it's, right now it's like nothing here. So we. And these wizards are really complex, and you cannot, uh, it's not easy to distribute this within the project. Because uh, how many of you check .idea folder into your source control? Ah, uh, yeah. Why? You should. This is the point of this folder. This folder contains only the shared settings, the, the stuff like port style, for example, inspection settings. Uh, you can have the inspection settings defined for your team. And uh, nobody should violate, the, um, basically commit the file until it's green. This is, this is the idea. This is how we work. This is how PHP Storm is like evolving for nine years with this speed. <laughs> Question. It's, it won't be ever changing. It's a folder. There's a plenty of files. And the files which are machine specific, like workspace, are automatically ignored and never checked in. And uh, basically, uh, we already have the situation like here with us. Like everybody has this dot ignore something presets. And uh, we have, along the 15 years of our project, our vision for these files also have changed. But uh, once we broke the trust of the people and make this like sudden changes, like you tell me, people just ignored it once, and then it's just broken. It doesn't work. So we will be redoing that folder, make, move it into other place to help to sh to share you what should be shared. Basically, if you go to settings, most stuff here like uh, um, I don't know, like inspection. You see the profile. It's stored in project. This is stored in ID. Stored in project it should be shared. You can export and port it, stuff like that. Also the formatting and uh, uh, still uh, for like like we did with the REST client, we moved away from like forms. We we do not do graphical interface good. We do editors great, so we moved everything into the editor. So we do the same with this SSR. Basically, and also you do need to, like, like to code anything. This is SSR running in the background. So there is a, like a test project with my colleague created for me. And here is, I don't know, this, was, this one. Some examples, like very simple example. This is like snippet of PHP code with, uh, it's, n it's not complete. Uh, super simple at cast of some variable, and this is the constraints. Uh, uh, the we should like completion here for possible values, I guess, but it might be not working yet. Anyway, you see this run button here. So if you you can try to experiment, write something. Basically, you copy paste something for your code, you run it, it captures only one thing, which you copy pasted. Then you edit it a little bit to make it capture all what you need, all things. And then you can run it, basically, and see all the cases. And while you edit this, you see it's automatically in all of your editors. If you commit this file use this cast with the project into special folder, maybe metadata, everyone who opens it in PHP Storm will see in their subsystem, in their file, we'll see these notifications. And you can define the replacement template also. Here can be like, just remove this cast. Like quick fix we have. There is no, no, no fix at the moment, but it will work like that. And uh, this is like really simple case. You can do it like with regular expression. But uh, inside, it's basically, it's actually doing what it does. Uh, for example, I can show you more advanced cases. Uh, like magic method calls. This is no, uh, but for example, you can, you can have a type constraint on this variable. So it's not like you have some variable. You, 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 you can usually utilize PHP store engines to check the variable type for you. Uh, you basically, you cannot do it in, in, by, in, by any other way. 
because uh, if for, to, to, to decide um, whether to replace this or have variance here, here, you need to, to trace the code back and uh, see what the actual type here is. Uh, and the idea does it for you. And maybe, uh, yeah, this is a good case. Yeah, this is, this is basically a control flow example. We have some code here, some code there, and this is like uh, unconditional um, break within the, within the loop. This is potential error. You may have like a requirement in your company, please do not write code like this because it, it breaks. Uh, and uh, you can, we, can, we, can, we can see all the, all the examples here. And if I will include this into the other kind of statement, I guess it should disappear because it, it's, you see? It, it, it just works. Uh, I mean, uh, you have like the referential integrity within some scope, like function or method. You have in referential integrity between the members of, uh, of class, for example. Uh, you have a referential integrity between your files in your project, in, in libraries. And uh, within this uh, method, we can ch uh, make the control for based assertions on, on types and, value, and actual values of variables. Uh, at some point, basically, taint is like an abstraction of the uh, value. We can, we can even tell you your loop doesn't finish. Because we can mark the E is like it's zero and up, and your uh, condition is less than zero, and basically these types never never match. It's like called symbolic execution. This is what these things here in in IntelliJ like my tests are. For example, on, str on strings, let's say some complex stuff. Uh, yeah, maybe like this. For example, for in, in PHP, every every uh, because we have um, not we don't have call site uh, declaration whether it's a point or a re reference of to variable in parameter or not. Any function can change your parameter. You have go to you have to go to definition and check it out. It might be somewhere inside of your call hierarchy. Uh, so we have these symbols uh, which basically like a symbolic algebra we compute it for you uh, and uh, but all you have to all you all you, it's all you all you have to do is like take care and take a look look here at your warnings this is was uh, what i wanted to show you what's come in php store and of course uh, having 700,000 users around the world working on their laptops maybe in the train or airplane or just working on their desktop. Uh, we try to make it as fast as possible because uh, like people joking about carbon footprint, like the, world, the best thing for carbon footprint is like not, not living or not having kids, but I can improve the situation differently by uh, fixing performance, like improving performance like 10% uh, and in next version, I, I like save megawatts of power and uh, hours of your time. Thank you. <laughs>